Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. So today we're going to talk about YouTube titles. I think I've talked about this before, but since I've done some YouTube video SEO stuff lately, you guys have been curious about that. You've asked about it from other videos in the comment section. So let's talk about it a little bit. This will not apply to, nor will it work for everybody. If you're doing comedy videos, probably not going to work for you. If you're doing entertainment stuff, it depends. It may or may not work for you. But if you're doing business related content or you're doing how to videos, or theoretically, even if you're a YouTube gamer, this stuff could work for you. So titles, titles are something that an overwhelming majority of you are getting wrong in your YouTube videos. And I don't say that to be mean or anything. I say it because you guys want help and I'm trying to give it to you here. And so you have to think about how a search engine works. Search engines are what YouTube is all about. It's built on the largest search engine in the world, Google. YouTube itself is the second largest search engine in the world. So think about what someone is going to type into a YouTube search box when looking for video content, and that's what's gonna help you here. This is also true for your tags. The thing that I do differently from many of you is I use titles and descriptions and tags that are all done with search in mind. I don't have special tools set up to help me with this. I actually only just started using TubeBuddy to confirm some things and to prove something uh, to some other people that had questions about it. And I'm thinking of actually using TubeBuddy more from an analytics standpoint because it has some cool stuff. But what I will say is before I ever looked at TubeBuddy for years now, and this is what I did as a blogger back in the day as well, is I've always thought about what is someone going to search for to find this content. If this content was a piece of paper in a filing cabinet, how would I label everything to help them find it? So I use whatever I think something will be searched for, like this video, in the title. And I use it in the first line of the description, and I also use it in a tag. And that helps me rank for videos much more effectively than if I did something unique or clickbaity for a video title. It doesn't make sense. It has to be what the video is about to make people feel good about it and not click off in five or 10 seconds after saying, nope, that video is not that, I just got rickrolled. No, I do it from the perspective of you're searching for this thing, you found this thing, and it answers what you need. For how-to videos, this is extremely powerful. The other thing it does is it helps you with the related videos. So doing that content works. I do the same thing with playlist titles. So this is what I would say about that for YouTube search is, Think about what someone would type into the search bar to find your videos, and then think about what makes sense and how you use keywords and phrases properly in the YouTube title. I don't worry about the length of a YouTube title anymore. Uh, it's something that I've used long titles, I've used short titles, both have worked. There's no secret sauce there in my opinion. So that's what I would say about it. This is going off of what's been successful for me across hundreds upon hundreds of videos. So that's where I'm getting this from. I have years of search data to back it up in my analytics that has confirmed that this does in fact work. Every uh, week I go into my analytics and I looked at the top search phrases associated with my YouTube channel and I see what they are. I see that for my Monday videos that graphic design is getting a lot of traction. I see that stuff having to deal with portfolios or growing a YouTube channel is getting traction. So I make titles that are going not only off of what I think people will search for, but what people are searching for that is getting them to view content on my channel already. Those are my tips for YouTube titles. If you have questions, leave those in the comment section. By the way, I do not unfortunately have the time to review everybody's videos and everybody's channel. I appreciate you guys' request where that's concerned because it means that you guys admire me and that you really value my advice. Unfortunately, I do not have the ability to give that time away for free to everybody who asks. That's why I do paid consulting and that's also why I run a full-time business is I don't have that kind of time to do that and still put out awesome content for you guys every day. So. If you guys were going to ask about that in the comment section, I apologize, I'm not gonna be able to view your content. If you wanna work something else out in terms of paid consulting, you can always reach out for that. That's not a plug, that's just to let you guys know that that option is on the table if you're doing this as a business or if you're trying to do this as a business. If this is something that is just fun for you or a hobby or something you wanna do creatively, then keep watching the videos and learn how to grow your YouTube channel and really ask yourself what you think is the right thing to do. You may not need my advice. 
Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today.